Long story short, I came to the conclusion, and this will sound crazy, all right? Hot take, hot bake, whatever you call it. Listen to this. Boom. Bro, all politics aside, let's pretend that these people are not politicians for a sec. Cool? I came to the conclusion I would much rather hang out with Kim Jong-un than Xi Jinping. Think about it. If you had to hang... if Bro, politics aside, all right? Based on what you know about these people as people, bro. I'm talking human character right here. I'm talking about would you vibe with Winnie the Pooh, a.k.a. Xi Jinping? Or would you smoke a... a, 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 a let me tell you, let me not get demonetized. I've been getting demonetized, crazy. But, Kim Jong-un, yes, even though he fed his own uncles to the dogs, I, if I had to pick, politics aside, forget where you're from, forget where they're from. I'm talking about, let's say you met these dudes on the street. I, let's say Kim, Kim Jong-un. And Xi Jinping were from your neighborhood, for example. Okay. Based on a character, bro. I'm going to tell you. You can Let me know in the comments who would you pick and why. But hear me out. Let me explain to you how I came to this conclusion. I'm going to keep it short, bro. It ain't much to say. Boom. Kim Jong-un. Yes, I know he don't let his people watch Western media. Yes, I know he do this and that. But mind you, <clears throat> Kim is only doing what his previous dynasty uh, 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 peoples. He's basically just you know fulfilling his dad's prophecy, his dad's um, legacy. He don't really care about. It. He watches quick games. He likes basketball. And when it comes to black people, Kim Jong-un was sitting, kicking it, smiling like it's no tomorrow with Dennis Rodman. What? Explain that. Dennis Rodman, bro. I don't even like basketball. I don't watch sports. But Dennis Rodman, bro. Like, just picture this in your head, bro. Dennis Rodman caught a five, if you want to say that, with Kim Jong-un. But when it comes to Xi Jinping, he don't got the best reputation for, first of all, racial feelings. In fact, being black in China, if you thought being black in the U.S. was bad, go to China, sir. All right? They hate you out there, bro. It ain't even a secret. Okay. Yeah. Man, <clears throat> I can't help it but feel like Xi Jinping is allowing this. He'll jump out quickly and make it illegal. Like, think about this, bro. She, I mean, Winnie the, Winnie the Pooh. Let me chill, watch my mouth. And again, I want to emphasize this. I said it before. I'm going to say it again. Don't ever twist my words into something. This is purely a realm of hypothetical imagination, fiction, and, 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 and I wouldn't even say fan fiction. Listen, bro. Kim is a real N. Politics aside. I ain't, I don't got no horses in whatever race. All of you are liars, bro. Okay? All of you. But listen. I'm from the streets, bro. Okay? Kim will say what he got to say and go against the whole world. Even if he got to stand alone, he stand alone. All right? Again, I'm not saying anybody's perfect or morally. I'm just saying... If I had to hang out. Now again, I'm from the streets, bro. I grew up with some people 
who have bodies to their names, if you want to say. And I'm not talking about girls, okay? I'm talking about it is what it is. So morality for me, I can understand. I can see. It ain't black or white. I get it. I came up with the wolves. I am no sheep. You understand? And as far as wolves go, Xi Jinping will make it illegal to call him Winnie the Pooh. You can go to jail. Like, it is a punishable crime by the law to call Mr. Xi Jinping, a.k.a. Winnie the Pooh, Winnie the Pooh. That's a crime. So that's illegal. But let's say like a hate crime, you don't care about that. They out there talk. Look it up. I'm not demonetizing myself, but Kimmy is cool with it. I found out through a random top 10 video like a year ago that is legal in North Korea. I ain't gonna lie, you take the human rights, you give, okay. That's a fair trade if you ask me. I'm joking, but listen. Kim got that honesty in him. Now, again, I'm from the streets. I'd rather somebody tell me, hey, yo, I'm this and that, and feel how you feel about it. You understand what I'm saying? I'd rather somebody come out like Kim and say, hey, F the whole world. And when they, again, look at how they throw sanctions. I'm talking about character. Forget politics. Just the, the sort of person he is. They put all these sanctions on him. And what does Kim do to get money? If you haven't been watching my documentary, Kim been breaking all type of laws, bruh. Kim tapped in with the triads. He'd make counterfeit money. Holla. Kim, uh, he must have been listening to my old music, maybe TJX6, because he got active on a computer. He got the buzzing. He got the Bitcoin booming. Ethereum hacking. And I'm not saying anything is good. I'm just, again, I hate that I got to keep repeating myself as if you were a baby. You're a grown man. Listen, bro. Politics aside, Kim seems like a survivor type. Like, he'll say what it, what it is like it is. All right? Even if it offends whoever, it is what it is. He's honest. Now, Mr. Belt and Road, a.k.a. She, the Who, I mean, Winnie the Pooh, a.k.a. Xi Jinping, right? Both of these... Both of these men are supreme leaders. They are the supreme leader. One, first of all... (laughs) So, don't come at me for morality. We're having to choose between... we're We're just trying to pick the lesser evil here. Who'd you rather hang out with? Okay, Xi Jinping, bro, I'm going to keep it straight up. I'm going to keep it 100. He's the type of dude to smile in your face and do business with you and bring you in on some business hopes. Smile in your face and stick it right in your back as you turn around to go bend over to pick up the dollars he just lured you in with. Only to find out that the dollar you got hit in your back. I can't even say the S-T-A-B word. All right. You got betrayed in your back as you bend over to pick up this dollar. But when you come back up, at least maybe to take the knife out or something, you realize that the dollar was a monopoly. All right. You got loan sharked. All right. You owe more in interest. And now you got finessed into signing this 360 record uh, deal equivalent of a government uh, 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 It's like they signed Blueface. You see Blueface? Like, 
you, you sign a 360. Like, what is that? Hmm? What? He's like, I don't know. They gave me the contract I just signed. What? Again, he's taking advantage of these African countries. And um, loan sharking them pretty much. Finessing them. Or I want to say scamming them, really. But I ain't going to use that word. I'm going to just, I'm going to give him benefit of doubt here. Because we're on a homies level now, right? I ain't going to say you scammed them, bro. But you, you try to come up off of, you got over on the Africans. The hungry Africans told them you're going to give them food. You threw them a chicken wing. They went and realized it was bones. And you finessed them out of land, military bases in their places. All right? You ain't even hired them. You hired your own people. Speaking of your own people. Now, Kim don't let his people do stuff. But when I look at Kim... I see someone who's conflicted. He is taking over a position of his father. Right? This is the dynasty he's, 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 he's upholding here. The legacy of his grandpa, right? Changes is not easy in such a situation. Not to mention there's a coalition and people, elites, and it's not just him in that government. His sister. So... He did make some changes that was beneficial for his people. On his level, let's level with him. All right? Again, beneficial for his people. It's still horrible, but I'm just trying to give them both benefit of doubt. All right? They're both dictators. They both got titles. The supreme leader. Like, both of them lying to, 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 like, what the hell? The People's Republic of China. What? You don't care about your people, bro. Who are you lying to? Your people, maybe. On do yang, All right. Uh, the other dude, he said, the DPRK. I really laughed out loud when I first realized that DPRK, the Demo- listen to this, bro. Tell me this ain't comedy on its own. Democratic People's Republic <laughs> of North Korea. What is democratic about it, uh, Kimmy? Huh? You can't even watch Squid Game. That's a that's a that's a capital punishment. What's democratic about it? Anyway, if I had to choose, I'd rather Kim. He got that street and in, in him. He got that hustler in him. They put the sanctions on him. He told him, "I got you." He got money in the black market, oil. Hacking, counterfeit dollars. Hey, go on Wikipedia and look up the uh, 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 illicit stuff. And guess what? The dude robbed banks. And he get to shake hands with Trump. You get what I'm saying? He kind of like a... You get me? I'm not defending anybody, morality or actions. But again, we're comparing these two. Mother efforts here. Uh-huh. She, he do just horrible stuff. Slave camps. Like, come on, bro. Slave camps? That's just pure evil. See, Kim don't do slave camps. Kim trying to feed his people. He let them, he let them roll up. Throw them a backward, maybe. He can't feed them, but he tried to. He built the development projects, whatever. He give them opportunities. He send a few of them to China. According to their level of standard, he trying to do something, you know? Send you to China, educate you. Maybe he turned dissident. You know, it is what it is. But um, 
you understand what I'm saying? He he kind of got that touch with his people. More than she. She got more money, more reach, more power, more more business. All right? But she don't even uphold the communists. I like if there's no communism, these people make money, bruh. Hand over fist. That ain't no communism. That's basically half of it. Yeah? He can't even uphold his own set of codes he claimed to have. And again, Kim, he'll break the law. He'll do some immoral stuff, but he'll do it to get money. He'll feed his people here and there. Try to. Sometimes. Most dictators don't. But he'll do something. Like, as far as the dictator standard go, that Kimmy doing his thing. For a guy that's uh, sanctioned globally. And, again, after politics, he watches uh, uh, basketball and, and Western culture media. He probably watched Squid Game. He just got to uphold the values that were there when he came into power. Maybe he fears changing it and the whole system collapsing. You understand? It's hard to control people. You understand what I'm saying? Maybe he don't want to mess with it. He just leave it as it is. He wasn't the one that told people he... He was God and he don't pee, don't poo. That was his grandpa. Passed it on to his dad. He's just trying to get his do his thing, pass it on. Make it a little better while he can. Yeah. You know? Plus, Kim is funny. Kim remind me of Soldier Boy. Alright? You know, Soldier Boy, I love Soldier. You see, I got the SOD. I'm forever, you know. But Soldier sometimes be going off. I don't know if it's funny or he, he, he be going off sometimes. I do too. Can be going off, man. Okay. Maybe he haven't been smoking that that he made legal because if he did, he'd be a little calm sometimes. This man wake up at... He just remind me of Soldier Boy when he start beefing with people on Instagram. Pull up! I got 150 shooters in Atlanta. I got the nukes. Like, and he be going, he be getting, you know how they got the legal haircuts? They're only allowed some haircuts. He get that fresh fade. I seen that boy on Six Buzz, which is Canadian rock star. For, you know, not Canadian. That boy went on six buzz. He got the haircut like he's Drake. Got the microphone. Yeah. He's cool. He got swagger. You gotta give it to him. He talk like, hey, bruh, I got the nukes. Who want the smoke? Oh, let, relax, bruh. Who you why you always beefing with somebody, bruh? You're sanctioned. Why don't you make peace for once? He just like that gangster character, maybe. I don't know. But when I dug into both their lives, and I'm gonna just end it on this one. But listen, Kim went to school, I guess, in Russia or Ukraine or somewhere where it's white people. And his classmates have said, like, hey, Kim was cool, bro. They skipped school, hit the hit the Siggy by the building, and he would talk about hey. I got plans. I want to help Korea. Like he got genuinely, he got that in him. Even though power corrupted him, he done with that. But he got genuine love for his people and stuff. You can see it. That's why maybe he can't feed everybody. It'll cause a mass starvation or whatever. I know, bad. But he don't deliberately put his people in slave camps. He'll do similar stuff. But th those systems were there before him. See, she, China before she, they didn't have as much money, but it was a different China as far as 
human dignity, freedom, respect, love. I get it. They're going to censor this. C11. I get it. And again, I kind of see, I don't see black and white. I always, devil's advocate, I try to understand why. Because every, every, what's evil to me and you, you know, like, me and you as villains, who you might call a villain, my viewer, all right? Think of someone you know as a bad person. That same person you think of as a villain, someone else views as a hero. He himself don't, I wasn't trying to be no villain. They think they're doing good because it's, it's human to want to do good. Even these T words that strap a boop, 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 boop on themselves and Self-delete and self-delete mission with a beep, 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 poof. Like, those people don't take themselves out for evil. I mean, it, it is evil, but in their mind, you understand? So I always try to understand. And you, you sometimes have necessary evils. Cause unfortunately, it's necessary for the oppression of China in order for the whole world to function as smooth as it did for the past. Could have been worse. Everything is made in China. All right? Things are getting better, more peaceful. Uh, maybe not for the time, but there, I have hope. Technology and stuff. And she won't live forever. But before him, there was no slave camps and hostile racial uh, 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 persecution or, you know, semi-ethnic cleansing. You know, I've seen that happen in Sudan. It's not pretty. That's evil. Even if your head, bro, like, even if in my head, I can't justify that. I'm sorry, bro. I can't hang with you, uh, she. Forget about it. I don't trust she. She gonna smile at you in the face. And turn around and loan shark you, drain your thing, and, 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 and ban you from saying this and that. We need a poo. What? What is that? I just don't trust she, man. All right? And I ain't talking about a pronoun. I'm talking about we need a poo poo. Woo woo. That's the sound of the woo woo. Woo woo. That's the sound of the chi chi. The poo poo. Woo woo. Kim, they say he don't poo. <laughs> Kim wins. Might be sanctioned by the world, bro, government. But on a human to human level, I would sit there. I don't even, you know, I'd I, I hit the bo bogey with you, bro. I don't even, I quit smoking darts years ago, but socially I'll have one with Kimmy. I have a dinner with Kimmy, all right? Trump did. It is what it is, bro. Hit like, smash subscribe. Let me know who'd you pick. And it better not be. She, she, she. Let me know, though, man. For real. She, she. Don't trust she. He gave you OID number after 18. He gave you F-E-N-T. And that don't even feel good. <laughs> see. G Z. See, we can't even talk on YouTube because of she. On top of C11, on top of TikTok, like, plus the F E N T, like, that don't even feel good, bruh. That's just, that was, uh, come on, bruh. Uh, 
Come on, bruh. That bioweapon. This was a piece of armor. Yeah, it was. She, me, and you. Yeah, man. My heart goes out to the Chinese people who um want to speak but can't speak, you know? Because if they go and speak outside, they punish their family back in China. That's why I, I started making videos on them ever since last year, bro. Hey. I don't give a, I don't I don't care who don't stand by my side or find it corny or stick to rapping cuz we not going to live forever me or you but y'all know about my auntie I'm going to make sure I'm on the right side of history you stay over there on that side Alright, shout out to my people. Hit like, smash, subscribe. Peace out.